Well, this week, uh, I want us to think about uh, money. Well, money is common everywhere you go, um, any part of the world. There is a, some form of money that they use. And it's important for us to understand what is money. Well, I think money is a tool. It is something you use to help you achieve something. It is what you use to buy. It is what you use to transact business. So it is a tool. There's a lot of misconceptions about money. And many people have all kinds of ideas about this important thing called money. Number two, money is a currency. Money will come to you, it will go to somebody else, it will move from one place to another, from one business to another, from one institution to another, it's a currency. Now, what is not money? Think about this. Money is not the true riches. Many people think, well, if I have money, then I have the true riches. Money is temporary. It is not the true riches. When I think about true riches, I think about, well, relationships, family. Um, I think about, you know, the word of God. These are the true riches. People, you know, investing in people. Is, these are true riches. So money is not the true riches. Money is not a treasure. Again, there are people who think that money is a treasure. It's something they hold so dearly. It is something very close to their hearts. It is something very close to their lives. So they treasure money in a big manner and they can do anything to get money. And some people, when they lose money, then they are depressed and even some people die because they lost money. Something else about money is that we need to understand that money can be gained, money can be spent, and money can be lost. So there are times you gain the money, there are times you spend it, there are times you lose it. And this is all happening to all of us. Again, you need to know that money has a spirit. The Bible talks about the spirit of mammon. The Bible says you cannot serve God and serve mammon or serve money. So there's another spirit that pushes people, you know, called mammon. And that's when people, when they have this spirit behind money, they are pushed to do things that they would never do. They can kill, they can murder, they can steal, they can do anything. They will lie, they will be corrupt, they will steal from others. So because there's a spirit pushing them. Some of them end up in jails, in prison for 10 years, 20 years. Why? Because there's another spirit pushing them. I pray that you will be free from the spirit of mammon. Think about that this week and God bless you and bless you even with finances when you have the right attitude towards money. Thank you.